Hey, what's up YouTube? How you guys doing? So today we're gonna learn how to renew the smart key for uh, Nissan Altima 2013 through 15 and it also works for a 2015 Maxim, okay? So if you guys buy a used key online, you cannot program it to a vehicle. Why? Because every used key has been previously programmed to a vehicle. Once the key is programmed to a vehicle, the transponder chip automatically locks up. As you can see, this is a used key and the chip is locked. So in order to unlock this chip, we need to renew the remote, okay? That's the only way that we can reprogram these used keys to a vehicle once the chip is unlocked. If it's locked, we cannot program it to the vehicle. This is the splice cable that we use for the BBD Aikito. It came with my BBD Aikito, okay? These are our wires, okay? As you guys can see, we have a brown one, we have a red one, we have a yellow one and a black one, okay? Brown, black, red, and yellow. The white one we don't use, okay? We don't use the white one, we just use these four color ones, okay? Only the color ones. Brown, yellow, red, and black, okay? All right, you guys, so right here we have the BBDI key tool, remote unlock wiring diagram for different types of smart keys. Okay, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. So go ahead and click on that. To the left, we have the key tool wiring function. This is our cable and it shows us the wires that it has. Okay, black, brown, red, and yellow, okay? So we move to the, we move to the right, it tells us the transponder pin definition. Basically what it's telling us right here is um, where the cables are gonna go at. Okay, what pins? As you guys can see, we're interested in the PCF7953. Okay, that's that's the type of chip that these uh, Nissan smart keys are. Uh, as you guys can see, the brown one is gonna go to pin 26, okay? As you guys can see, the brown one goes to pin 26, and we move to the right. The yellow one's gonna go to pin 25, okay, you guys? So those are the pins that we're looking for, 26 and 25. So remember those, PCF7953. Again, that's the transponder type, okay, of these uh, Nissan smart keys, okay? They all have the same transponder chip number okay different pc board numbers okay so basically right here we're looking at the high tech 3 smart key okay because that's the one that we're gonna renew first the high tech 3 smart key okay and we move to the right it's gonna show us the the diagram of this remote so just be familiar make sure as you guys can see all the chip numbers are the same okay the pc board numbers they're all different okay so just make sure which PC board number you have. The PC board number, you will find it on the circuit board. On the little green board, you will find it. This is the diagram right here. It tells us where the brown cable needs to be at and where the yellow cable needs to be at. You see the two dots? That's where you need to solder the brown and the yellow, okay, for high tech 3. Remember, this is high tech 3. Not 2, not 4, but high tech 3, okay? These remotes have to be OEM, okay? If they're aftermarket, the diagram will be different. This right here is the high tag 4 AES smart key, okay? AES. High tag 4. Remember that, you guys. They're different. Same chip, same chip transponder number, 7953. The PC board number is different, okay? And we move to the right. It, it shows us the diagram where the yellow cable, where the yellow wire needs to be at and the brown wire needs to be at. Like I said, if the diagram is different, we're just gonna locate where the pin 26 and pin 25 is, okay, you guys? So we're gonna go to remote renew. We're gonna go all the way down to Nissan, okay? Now it's really important you select the right one. Like I said, there's a HTAG3 smart key, okay? There's HTAG2 smart key AES, okay? So it's always important that you choose the correct one, okay? This one, like I said, it's a HTAG, okay? And it will tell you the number right there, A2C53405173, okay? And the number is actually written on the circuit board. As you guys can see, okay? A2C53405173 and 73, okay? So if you're not sure if it's a H tag three, you just go ahead and read the number from there, okay? And compare it, all right? So you guys can see, I did all my solder points, my solder points, the yellow one, bottom dot, brown one, top dot. 
I put the red cable, okay, to the positive side and the black cable to the negative side, okay? Like I said, someone said you can put a little alligator clip, okay, so you don't have to, you don't have to solder it on there. And here's a diagram that we need to follow, okay, to attach our brown wire, yellow wire. If it's aftermarket, the diagram will be different. Keep that in mind. So like I said, you guys can use alligator clips. Now, now when you're when you when you have a, if you have a little thing, make sure that you're not touching any points. You might fry it or something, so you don't want to touch anything. Okay, just I went and I grabbed it from the side. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys what it does. When if if you have this if you have this um, soldered on right and connected right, it's gonna it's gonna start. You see how it's writing data, and it, you see the percentage. It says renew success. That means that I that it was done correctly. Okay, so basically when it's not connected right. If you press right, it's not gonna go up in the percentage, okay? That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna say I see error, okay? So that's how you know that it's not connected right, okay? Any aftermarket key from China and 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 any aftermarket key is gonna be a little harder because the diagram is different, okay? But this is actually a, a OEM key from Nissan, so it was easier. You know, I just had to follow the direction to see where it was. And I ended up renewing it, okay? So like I said, you know, it's really easy. You know, just read the PCB number. Okay, it should be on the board. Like I said, once again, there it is right there. Okay. This one's an aftermarket one. So the diagram is different, you see? Okay, you guys, we're looking at the transponder pin definition. Since this is an aftermarket, smart key, the diagram is different. We need to connect our brown wire to pin 26, yellow wire to pin 25, okay? As you guys can see, okay, it has 28 pins, okay? 14 on this side and 14 on that side, okay? So for this one, we need to attach it to 26 and 25 okay all right guys so we have another smart key right here okay the diagram is a little bit different on these okay this is actually um a head tech 4 4a okay let me show you guys as you guys can see this is as okay 4a okay it's locked the diagram is a little bit different from the one that I've seen on the on the website. So we're gonna locate pin 26 and 25, okay? And we're gonna attach our brown and yellow wire to 25 and 26, okay? And then the rest we know where to attach. So this is where the, this little area right here, where the battery touches is where the negative is gonna be. And then the gold, that's where the red positive is gonna be, okay? So let's attach our wire. Like I said, again, we can use a alligator clip if you don't know how to solder. Okay, right here is gonna be a little difficult, but uh, let's let's get down to business, okay? Locked. All right, you guys. So we have our yellow wire to pin number 25, okay? And our brown wire to pin number 26, okay? So this is how it starts. There's a little dot right here, you guys. So you're gonna count from the little dot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down. There's 14 on this side and 14 on this side. So you would go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You go up and then 15, 16, 17, 18, all the way to the end, okay? So this is the beginning and over here is the end, okay? One, two, three, up. And then, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then, and then you can look at these little gold dots. Okay. These little gold dots on top le leads us to pin number 25 and 26. I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit, okay? As you guys can see, these little gold dots. Okay. That little first gold dots where it connected the brown one. And then the one on top is where it connected the yellow one. As you guys can see, the one in the bottom leads to pin number 26. Can you see? Let me zoom in some more, okay? You see that? The bottom one leads to pin 26, and then the top one leads to pin 25. 
You see little green lines? Okay. Okay. So as soon as we connected our our cables, we're gonna go ahead and press right, okay? So we're gonna press right and bamo. Writing data, renew success, you guys. Here's another smart case. You guys can see this one's aftermarket too. It's really different from the diagram. This is the AES. See, all we gotta do is connect the brown one to the 26 and the yellow one to the 25, okay? We can just follow these little things and then solder it onto these little things right here, okay? So this little one right here would be 26, that little box. Okay, and then 25 would be this one. So we will connect our brown cable to this little thing right here on top, and then the yellow one to this little bottom on top. You can see it leads to it, okay? If you guys have any questions on how to do this, okay? Uh, leave a comment in the section below. Email me at L-I-L-R-O-X-X-0-0-1, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, take care.